Hi, this is Oscar from Hammerfall. Uh, before going to the new album, uh, let's talk a bit about the new version of uh, Second to One you did with uh, Nora Lohima. Of course. of course. Yeah, it's actually not a very old song. Uh, so why was it reworked and how did the collaboration with Nora come to be? Um, so we uh, wrote and recorded the song for the album. Uh, and uh, when that album was... I think we, the, during the, I mean, the album came out in August, so the, the album, everything was already done and ready. Uh, then um, we started talking about touring and then Battle Beast came up as a suggestion for a special guest. And uh, then uh, when the, everything was finalized, uh, I think Joachim had the idea to ask Nora if she wanted to, to help us, uh, you know, make this song even better with her, make it a duet between him, uh, between her and Joachim. Uh, and of course, she was uh, lovely enough to say yes. And the, we recorded some of her tracks or her lines in, in the Gothenburg in the studio, the studio of Fredman, actually, uh, I guess September, maybe. I don't exactly remember when it was, but end of the summer anyway, last year. Uh, and uh, that's how we came about. I mean, the reason that Battle Beast was going on tour with us, that's the reason why, why we asked Nora. But I think Joachim always had the idea to make this a duet. And I think when, uh, when he heard uh, that Battle Beast was, um, uh, that, that we were talking to them about joining us, uh, I think everything was just, yes, perfect. We, this is the perfect combination. And I really have to admit it was a great idea because Nora's voice, is, uh, Nora's voice and Joachim's voice, Joachim's voice, they fit together really, really well. So it was, uh, it, it, the, the end result was fantastic. Uh, yes, yes it is. Okay, uh, let's uh, go to the live against the world. It's going to mm -hmm. be out uh, this month on 23rd. Yep. Well, so for starters, how was the World Dominion Tour? Yeah, well, it was uh, short. <laughs> uh, cut short a little bit uh, because of the corona pandemic, but uh, we did manage to finish the whole European tour that we had planned, uh, except for some Scandinavian dates in March, though we had to cancel those. But the, like the bulk of the tour uh, in January and February, were, were, we were able to do those. Uh, so, I mean, and we had plans to do the full summer, of course, and then go to the U.S. We're actually supposed to be in North America right now on tour with um, Beast in Black among, uh, uh, and one other band. Uh, felt, uh, I can't remember the name now, but the, uh, a North American band as well. Uh, but so, like, we had plans to do a lot more than we actually did. But uh, uh, hopefully we can we can take it up again next year. We'll see. I mean, fingers crossed that there'll be some some summer like some festivals next summer at least. Uh, at right now, I'm not I'm not super positive about it, but you never know. Like you, you, things have to be improving pretty soon if if uh, if that's going to be a reality. I think. But you know, positive attitude creates positive uh, a positive way of life. I think so. Hopefully, fingers crossed for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Well, you know, it's almost bittersweet to release a live album at this time. I know I was watching the Blu-ray version with, you know, excitement and also sadness because of the situation. Yeah. So how did you come to the decision to release a live album? Well, uh, we had this plan uh, before Corona. So this was not really anything, to, had nothing to do with, with everything shutting down. We, we This was going to come out now anyway. Uh, and... Uh, the recording was already done, of course. We did it in the middle of February. So um, for us, it's just a, a way of kind of, I hate to say good timing, because nothing about the pandemic is good. But like for us, it was, was fortunate that we had this recorded and planned for a release, This now, especially now that, that nobody can do any shows anywhere. So uh, it felt um, like we had something to do over the summer to work on the, on the project, to work on the... Uh, uh, on the booklet and layouts and every all the you know, all the gathering of materials and stuff like that for 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 the yearbook and shit. So th there was a bunch of stuff for us to do. So we felt like even though the summer was gone on uh, in no stage time on st in the summer, we had at least something to f to focus on, I guess, a little bit. So that's another aspect that was pretty good. And then of course we'll see what people think about a live album or live uh, Blu-ray at this point. I mean. Uh, it's not, that's part of the reason we haven't done any live streams because we had this coming out. Uh, there are, uh, 
no, no, no live stream that we ever do will do this justice. I mean, we had uh, the biggest show that we ever done, made basically uh, the biggest tour that we ever done. Uh, a, a good show, a good product coming out. There was no point uh, for us to to do any like live stream on, on a, an empty stage in, on an empty uh, in an empty venue somewhere. It just didn't make any sense. Uh, but but uh, so this is actually I'm I'm excited about this. And especially since this is a day of, you know, cell phones everywhere, uh, YouTube and all that stuff, which means that um, a live uh, product mm, it is it doesn't have the same allure that it had like 20, 30 years ago. You know, when when uh, when your favorite band released a live uh, record or whatever it was, a live something, uh, you were excited as hell about it because you hadn't seen them live, or maybe not even for years. Uh, if you were a Kiss fan and in Sweden, for example, I didn't know and Kiss only came here in '83 and '88, and not then they came back in '96. So, you know, like you understand what I'm trying to say. It's just a cool thing to have back then. But nowadays, you can go online and watch anything from yesterday, or maybe even from the same evening. Sometimes, just depending on on the time of day. So, uh, it, it doesn't have the same allure. But that's why we try to make this uh, into a very, very special release instead just to uh, to make sure that this was was uh, uh, that, that, that all the the video editing and the, the cameras and everything that, that that made for like a, a proper release and not just you know a fan cam in the, in the at the mixing desk or something like that so um, I, I have I, I'm really excited about this release I think it's it's uh, mirrors where hammerfall is at this moment uh, really well as a live band and as a performance artist or whatever you want to call it uh and together with the uh, the fans of course because that's how a heavy metal show is built uh, and the german fans are always among our our uh, greatest supporters so this was a it's a really good night and uh, I, I dare say almost a perfect night that we got captured on film and that's why i'm so happy about it yeah how do you feel yourself now with all the cancelled gigs watching watching this one um, well, I, I haven't seen it because we spent so much time over the summer getting the edits right and, and just uh, working on that. So I saw the whole thing so, uh, several times over the summer. So I, I have I actually waited to watch it again. I'm going to do it eventually, I think, pretty soon. But uh, I haven't seen it for um, for a couple of months. Uh, but it, if, you are, if you're asking if it, it, it doesn't really make me uh it makes me of course miss being on stage you know of course it does because that's uh, the the sort of the the lifeblood of of being in a band is, is performing on stage but uh at the same time it's i mean i know we're going to get there for me I, i'm a positive guy like i said I, i'm i'm going to get we're going to get there in the end, in the end we're going to get back on stage there's no question about that it's just a matter of time and if it's just a matter of time uh i'll ride out the storm and and not not uh, wish too much or think too much about what could have been rather than I, I'd rather focus on, uh, you know, doing my part to make sure that we can come back on stage uh, as soon as possible. And that's the way I look at it. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see how people react to this, because I think there, are, there could be a, a wide range of emotions uh, as, as far as that goes right now. So we'll see about that when, you know, when, when the, the, the fans get a hold of the product. Uh, are you also writing new music at this time? Because it seems that every band is now writing new music and will be like uh, over in overload of new music when all of this is done. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sure that there will be an insane amount of albums released next year. But uh, for 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 us, I mean, we we released Dominion. It's it's literally just like 14 months old. The the album, the the previous album from Hammerfall. So. We don't. We're not going to rush into anything. We there's like especially with the we have the live album coming out. So uh, we're writing songs. Yes, we're working on stuff on new material. But the the, the sort of three year plan that we laid out a couple of years ago, or or you know, we you, cause this is how how we work. Mostly thanks to Joaquin because he's the one who, who takes care of all that stuff. He uh, we, we do a three year plan. Uh, like this year we're going to do release. Next year touring. Blah blah blah. And then next album comes out sometime you know, whatever. Uh, and so the plan was always for us to release a new album in 2022. And that's the plan we're sticking with. We're not rushing into anything just because we have the time. Uh, and to be really honest, I mean, I got, I, I have a lot of stuff written that I wrote on the road. 
uh, or, or, you know, uh, just when inspiration struck, but insp getting inspired to write something right now, it is quite difficult to be honest, uh, because of the, uh, I need the some we have nothing to look forward to. Like we, I, we have nothing, no rehearsals, no, uh, shows, no, uh, well, basically nothing going on with the band like that. We, you get energy from, you know, like sitting behind a computer and answering emails. Is, it's not the same thing really. Uh, so, uh, it's a bit rough at the moment to come up with new stuff, but, uh, th it feels like a, one of those times when you, uh, just when you have, uh, uh, it's like a writer's block, I guess you could say, even though it's for music. Uh, and, uh, I've been there many times before, had it several times in my life. So it's, it's nothing I worry about. I just, I know I have to adjust some things to, to get sort of the creative juices flowing again. Um, but, I I also have written a lot of stuff. So, uh, I'm, you know, there's, I'm not rushing anything. I'm just take, letting you take your time because the, for me, the most important thing is that the end result is as good as it possibly can be. And, and that's what, what I'm focusing on. Okay. Uh, you said that you are a positive person and I have asked this question from, uh, many different, very different bands and got very different answers. So I'm yeah. interested to hear your uh, ideas. Okay. So uh, from your point of view, uh, how will this pandemic change music industry as a whole? <laughs> um, well, I, yeah, that's a really good question, actually. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's, it depends on how, how, if they come up with a vaccine that works. And uh, it also depends on how, how much financial problems the, all the different uh, actors, like I'm talking about bookers and uh, promoters uh, and venues or uh, uh, you know, the, the companies that rent out lights and sound and all that, you know, all those, you know, everything that goes into putting together a show. So uh, I'm hoping that people will ride out the storm and, and just uh, make, you know, come back and uh, be back, rather be able to be back uh, when things calm down again. And I, and like I said, I am a positive person, so I'm hoping that that's going to be the case. But I know I don't know how it is in Finland, really, but in Sweden and in many other European countries, it's really uh, like it's very difficult for anybody to get any uh, any like it, that's the theme. Or what they're saying is, of course, if you can be in a in a shopping mall, uh, hundreds and hundreds of people without any supervision or any kind of um, uh, distance, social distancing or anything. Why can't you uh, be at a, a at a concert with social distancing, watching a show? And uh, so they, that's a, a big issue now in Sweden right now, uh, because the the uh, the people working uh, with in the industry. And I'm not just talking about bands, but just everybody. Uh, they have nothing to do and you can only survive without anything to do for so long. You know, if, if you don't have any, if you're like a, a sound engineer and there's no, no uh, concerts or, or nothing to be done by that, you know, you can't uh, provide an income for your, your, um, your family maybe or for yourself or whatever, or your, uh, your company is not there anymore. Your company goes bankrupt because you don't have any income. Um, we might lose a lot of great talent in this business. So, uh, and that I guess goes for bands as well. You know, if bands may feel like um, we didn't have uh, we didn't have enough uh, uh, forward motion, and and I, I'm just I'm done with this now. But um, that's a difference though, because that's a creativity issue. You know, it's it's a big difference between. Uh, feeling like uh, a creative creative person and feeling like a guy that you that that just was necessary to support himself for his family. So if you can't really make any money doing your job, then you might switch to a different job. That's where I'm where I'm getting at. And then we might lose some some really uh, good like technicians and stuff like that. Uh, so things need to get get back to to um, to rolling pretty soon. But like. I, in all honesty, I don't really know how next summer is going to be. I mean, it, the hope has always been for next summer to be normal, but now it's October. It's middle of October even today. Uh, so who knows if, if uh, how, who knows how long the festivals can wait by, you know, before they get a clearance from the government or whatever, uh, or before they, uh, uh, they who, you know, who knows how long they can wait before, before they have to say, okay, we're not going to be able to do this festival this year either. And that's going to be a terrible blow if that happens. So 
me being a positive person, I'm really hoping and, and thinking that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but uh, you never know. <laughs> it's uh, it's difficult being a positive person in in the uh, in the throes of a pandemic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, as you said, <laughs> uh, uncertain times. But is there something concrete planned for Hammerfall? You know, uh, after the release of this album? Uh, uh, no, not well. We have the the summer festival starting in June next year, and I guess that's as close to to that as we get right now. Uh, we were there were talks about doing things in uh, January and February and March before the pandemic and then that those no the, yeah those dates were away was it this year or next year no time you know time stands still sometimes it feels like it felt like a whole year had passed but it's only uh half a year uh yeah so we, we had plans and those are scrapped immediately and then there were other plans for like may and those are also scrapped now so we're looking at june right now so that's what, what we're hoping for uh for right now so we don't like we don't have any uh, it's difficult to plan when the world is as it is right now. So we're, we're just trying to make plans and then uh, uh, we have to hope that the, those plans aren't going to be shattered again. That's basically it. <laughs>